The USC calibration is completely unmatched. You can actually run it with the USC calibration plugin. You can also run it inside waves, real phones, or just use any of the native stock plugins that you have inside your DAW or even directly with the audio interface. Here's how you set it up. If you're looking for the USC installation guide, then click on the link below and in the description. We have a separate video uh, for that, for installing the USC. So this one might be a little bit longer than usually because we'll touch on three um, other all alternative ways of using the USC calibration. So you can have it integrated with the Waves NX, you can have it with the real phones, but you can also use stock plugins that comes with any DAW or outside of the DAW directly on the audio interface. For example, the RME, they have a total mix uh, software that can also support that. So just, you know, select and click the section or the part of the video that you're interested in. Let's dive into this one. We'll start with the Waves NX integration. Obviously, you need to have an account with Waves and then you just go to the downloads and Waves Central uh, and you can download any of the plugins that you own. Once you open up the Waves Central, you'll find all the products that you have from them. Uh, so in this case, I'll just install the Abbey Road Studio 3. Click on the install. Once the installation is completed, click OK and you're basically ready to go. Um, start your DAW. Once you have your DAW running, it should automatically scan for new plugins and you should see Waves folder and Abbey Road, in my case, Abbey Road NX, uh, right here in the Effects tab. So you can just drag it in um, to the post section to see that it's working. There's also the head tracking option over here using the camera uh, alone or uh, a separate Bluetooth tracker. Um, and over here is the plugin. So obviously if you click here on the headphone EQ, uh, you can find all sorts of headphones in there uh, as well, our Ola headphones, but only the S4R model. Um, and that is also a generic calibration and it's made by Waves. So this calibration is not official OLE calibration, it's Waves calibration for the S4R generic. So very different. So what we're going to do over here is um, integrate the USC calibration of your specific unit directly uh, with the Waves NX. So it will pop up over here as an option uh, together with this uh, generic. So let's dive into how to do that. Step number one is to find and locate the correct files or folder for the waves. So I'm using Mac over here um, and with Mac you can just click on the applications and you will find this folder which is called waves. You open it up and you will see that under data uh, you will find the Abbey Road Studio 3 uh, folder and also the Enix headphone EQ. So that's the folder we are interested in. So open this one and in here you will find this file which is called headphone list.xml. Open it up with text editor. So over here you're gonna see that all the headphones that are available in the plugin right here. So this list over here is actually this one in the XML structure. So in order to have all a headphone, your unit specific calibration shown in that dropdown, we need to find first the all over here and we have it right here. So it's It starts with info, then the headphone name, then the folder name and the ID for showing up. Just 
take all of that, take all of that, copy it. You can scroll all the way down to the last um, snippet over here and just copy paste it. Add the new ID. Let's give it something like 400. That's fine. Anything above the 285 is fine. Um, and rename it. The headphone name should be something like your serial number. Once you've pasted uh, the snippet over here, you'll need the serial number uh, to be inside these tags over here. So the headphone's name, this should be the serial number of your unit. Find the USC calibration file and use its name. So just before the .xps, just the serial number and paste it right here in this, between these two tags. Uh, and then also you can see it says folder name Ola, which means that the, the, the calibration file must be in that folder. The XPS calibration file, it would be probably in your downloads folder and just copy and paste it to this location. So again, um, if I go from the beginning, so it's applications, uh, it will be under program program files on Windows, I believe. So find the waves folder there as well. So it's under waves folder, you will find data folder. Over there will be the NX headphone EQ folder. And over here, you'll find the OLA folder. And in that folder, you will already see the S4R, which is the generic um, calibration made by waves. And you just copy paste that file, um, the USC calibration file directly in here and once that is done you can now move back to your DAW turn off or basically remove the plugin drag it in once again it will relaunch the tracking and if you open it up right now and you scroll down to Olo you will have the S4R generic calibration, but also the serial number of your headphones. So click on it and that's it. You now have the USC calibration, official OLA calibration for your specific unit running directly from Waves. And that will work with any of the Waves and X plugins. So you can run Abbey Road, you can run any of others, you can have multiple if you want. Um, your headphone, the serial number of your headphones will pop up, will show in all of these drop downs. Chapter 2 Real Phones Integration. They actually have an import feature enabled for the casting calibration. So you need to have uh, the, uh, the real phones installed. And once you drag them in, uh, again, to a master channel or whatever setup that you're running, uh, you can click over here and scroll all the way down and you will see user headphones or custom profile. So use that one. And when you click on these hamburger menus, you will see edit headphones, which will start uh, or show the EQ section, the actual calibration data. And over here on this uh, menu, you have the import. When you click on this little hamburger menu, the import uh, feature is right there. Click on it and locate the USC file. Uh, find it wherever it is on your uh, file system. Click on it and you'll see it right here. Click OK. And now you have calibration enabled for your specific unit inside real phones. That's how easy it is with the real phones. The side benefit of running the USC with the real phones is that they have a system-wide application as well. So you can have calibrated sound even if you're not using or running your DAW. So that means YouTube, Spotify, Tidal, etc. Um, so I have it over here and it's basically the same application. So again, user headphones, click on the menu, edit the headphones over here import the file, uh, locate it, click OK, and it's ready to rock and roll. So 
that's how you can calibrate and use real phones calibration features outside of the door with the plugin but you can have calibration outside of your door without using any of the plugins not the usc plugin from us not the waves plugin and not the real phones plugin you can actually run calibration directly on your audio interface as long as it has a little bit of software enabled if you're using multi-channel audio interfaces for example the rme ufx or the motu or um, you know whatever multi-channel audio interface most of them will come uh, with a software that is running basically directly on the interface itself which means that there will be some sort of um, equalization possible directly on the output of the audio interface uh, so to do that to have the usc calibration uh, directly on the output you need to manually export the data from the usc file and i'll show you how to do that so basically you just need to find the usc calibration file click on it and open it with some sort of text editor it's basically just uh, an xml file and over here you're gonna see that there's 10 different bands so for example the first one is low shelf at 80 hertz gain one and q factor of 0.5 so that is the data that you can take to any external equalization so either uh, well actually you can use or use it inside any of the DAW uh, if you don't want to use the waves or real phones or the USC plugin um, you can have it with the native EQ that comes inside any of the DAW so for example over here in studio one uh, the process is exactly the same uh, for running this in total FX with the RME or with Motu or other brands out there. So the process is exactly the same. Um, basically, you take these numbers. I'm going to move this out of the way so that we can see both of these on the screen. I have this low shelf uh, with Q factor of 0.5 and it's a shelf this shelf is actually a 6 db shelf if you have this option so don't use the 12 or 24 just use the shelf at 6 db um, and it's gain one and it is at you can see over here 80 hertz then move to band number two uh, which is gain zero over here so it's not active then another one is peak let's do this one open it up the q factor is 0 0.6 over here uh, frequency is at 150 and gain is minus one so you do that with all the data that are in the usc calibration plugin you take them out manually and put them into whatever eq you want it's a native eq inside your door or EQ capabilities of your hardware. That's the ideal scenario. If you can run it directly on the output of your audio interface, because that way you can have a separated calibration for your speakers and a separate calibration for the headphones. Maybe you even have multiple headphones. You have one in recording room and one in control room and so on. So you can have every single channel calibrated, no matter the source, either from the DAW, either from YouTube or Spotify or whatever. That's what we would always recommend. All right, so that concludes this little tutorial on how to integrate USC calibration with Waves and X, with real phones. Uh, the USC plugin is in a separate video, so you just go down, find in the description the link to the USC calibration uh, plugin installation and tutorial. And basically, yes, that's it. Until the next time, stay safe and sound. Bye.